Oh, I just found a game. Look at this. Elder Scrolls Online. Here somewhere. Oh, look at this. Oh. Alright, it's been really cold this past week, and I've kind of lost all motivation to be leaving the house. But in this video, we're going to be going to a couple of dollar stores or budget stores around my area and seeing if we still can find video games. Now, it's kind of it kind of shocked me that there's actually a whole ton of dollar store budget stores around here. And so we're going to be going to like, you know, Dollar Generals, Family Dollars and other places like that. And I'm going to actually try and find at least one item to buy from each store so we can recap and go over all the things we were able to get. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. All right, so we are out here at Big Lots. For those of you that don't know what it is, it is a budget store. They basically purchase in bulk items from other stores that basically overstocked or have been sold in the stores and so they're able to purchase it for cheap and also sell it for very cheap so here we are at the dvds let's see if they have any video games oh they actually have some decent blu-ray movies a bunch of them but i'm not seeing any video games yet oh viking it's a good show Wow, they even have Avatar? Oh, I just found a game. Look at this. Elder Scrolls Online. I don't see a price on it, so not sure how much it's going for, but try to get one game. So this is what we have so far. I'm more into storyline driven games, but this is actually a really fun game though. And the next game we found right here Dragon Age Inquisition, six bucks. Is that worth it? Probably not. Hmm, but I think I'm liking it a little bit more than this Elder Scrolls. So we'll hang on to this for now. Oh, I just found another game, Apex Legends. Hmm, Apex Legends, I haven't ever actually played it. And then we got Dragon Age, so I'm not sure which one actually keep Dragon Age because I've actually played this and I have not played Apex. Alright, so we were able to pick up Dragon Age Inquisition from there. Brand new, sealed for $6. I don't think it's that profitable, but hey, one game, at least we found a game. The next stop we're going to be going to is Dollar Tree. Now, I've been to this Dollar Tree a couple times and I haven't found any video games, so I'll be shocked if we even find anything, but if we do then that's great. If we don't, then I probably won't put much footage on this video. Alright, so we got some movies right here. But I'm not seeing any games yet. Some Blu-rays. I wonder how much these are. No price on it. anything that looks like a game case either hmm. no games as well on this last one not even gonna try all right i guess on to the next all right guys so for this next stop we are at dollar general i've never actually been here before so i guess we'll find out if they do have video games or not looks like we got some blu-rays over here for five bucks? Not bad. But I'm not seeing any video games. It's just launched back in here somewhere. Oh, look at this. Red vs. Blue. I actually might pick this up. I'm a big fan of the Halo. And especially Red vs. Blue Rooster Teeth. I haven't seen all of these, but way back in the day, we used to always watch it. Oh, here goes another one. Oh. And it's different. The Shino Paradox? These are actual like movies that they released. Hmm. Might have to grab it. Let's 
see what's back here. I think more of the same. Alright, so we didn't find any video games, but we did find a Blu-ray. A Red vs. Blue Shizno Blu-ray movie. Apparently it's like a, a Red vs. Blue movie that they filmed using Halo 3 game. And Halo 3 is probably my favorite Halo game of all time. So the next stop that we are at is Family Dollar. Family Dollar is always located in the more unsafe parts of town, so I always gotta be a little bit more careful when coming here. All right, so we got the movies over here, and we'll just start digging through, I guess. Any game, any game we find, we're gonna pick up. Well, the best game that we find, we'll pick up, but seeing anything so far. Uh, let's look over here. Ooh, Batman. This is actually pretty cool. Yeah, we're out of luck here. Hello. Do you happen to know if you guys have like any video games? Um like Xbox, or PlayStation type of stuff still. <clears throat> not sure if you guys still get those or not. Okay, cool. I'll uh, look through and then um, I'll, I'll bring them up to you. All right, so it looks like we did find some games. Oh, I've never actually played this one. Hockey. No, see, you can see it's reduced here on the Xbox One. We'll see. Ooh, good movie. Alright, I guess all you had to do was ask, but uh, I don't know if this actually has any value or not. I'm going to scan some of these two and see. But... We may pick up a couple, actually. All right, so this stop at Family Dollar was definitely a score. All I had to do was ask the person behind the counter to check to see if they had any games. And she went behind the counter and pulled out a handful of games. So I actually did pick up a couple. These were all $2 each. So the first game was Rhyme. I actually picked this up for the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. I've never played this game before, but for $2, I just couldn't pass it up. So if anybody has played it, let me know if it's good or not. And the last game I picked up was Peer Farming 2018. I know some of these farming games do have some value, but I did check the prices and none of them were worth anything really. Now these, these games are all sealed, but they were resealed. So they're in used condition. They're not brand new anyways. So definitely a score though. I'm glad I did find some games. Our last stop of the video will be five below. Supposedly everything here is supposed to be five dollars or under. Let's see what we'll be able to find. Let's see where the games are. I think they're somewhere. Oh man. What is this? Oh. Looks like this is probably the only one left. So I was walking around and I did see some gaming desk mats. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, Mario Kart. It's like a mouse pad, keyboard pad. I may actually pick this up. How much is it? Five bucks? We'll hang on to this, but wow. You know what? I just found a bin full of stuff and I do see some games in here. Darksiders 3. Here goes the Elder Scrolls Online game. You know what? I'll keep digging, but I might actually pick this one up instead of Battlefield. Because anything is better, better than Battlefield. And this Elder Scrolls game. There was another Darksiders. Alright, so I'm very happy with this. I'm definitely going to grab this one over the Battlefield. This is brand new and sealed, so definitely worth the grab. Made it back home, and here's a quick recap of everything we were able to get. 
I will kind of go through and at the end kind of rank which dollar store was best for me in my location, my area. It could be different in yours. The first stop was Big Lots and we got Dragon Age Inquisition. We did find an Elder Scrolls game and an Apex game for the Xbox One as well, but this one was the most interesting to me. Note the high price of $6, so wasn't the lowest and cheapest game. Then we went to Dollar Tree and we couldn't find anything there, just a bunch of movies, Blu-rays, but no video games, nothing interesting. So probably going to be last on my list. Then I went to Dollar General for the first time and I did find Red vs. Blue Shizno Paradox. We're going out for pizza, not some epic quest. We're going on a pizza quest. Not a video game, but it's a movie of a video game filmed in a video game. It's the classic Red vs. Blue series that you can find on YouTube. I used to always watch this when I was younger, so great pickup. Then we went off to Family Dollar and I did find a couple games there. I had to ask the person behind the counter and they just whipped it out from behind the counter. So I got Rhyme for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Never played this before, don't own it, but for $2 a piece, $2 for all these games, that's a great deal. And the last stop was Five Below. I found this Battlefield 1 game initially. I was getting a little nervous, but I did eventually find a bucket full of like games and movies and things like that. And we did find Darksiders 2 for the Xbox 360. I did play the first one and it was good. It wasn't great, but maybe I'll have to check this one out as well. And we also got this gaming desk mat Mario Kart. You can definitely find some neat accessories, toys of, you know, video game related items. So really awesome to find this stuff at five below. Now, if I had to rank everything, I would probably say Family Dollar is still the best out of the dollar stores to go find video games. Um, you can definitely find videos on YouTube of people finding some really great stuff at Family Dollar. And it's 2023 and I'm still finding video games there for very cheap. Next would be Five Below. I just recently found out about Five Below and they have a lot of great stuff there and I didn't even know they had video games. Then I would have to say Big Lots. This was the most expensive out of the bunch but hey at least I was able to find some stuff, some video games. Then it would have to be Dollar General and then Dollar Tree. I haven't been able to find any video games at any of those stores. If you guys have been able to find video games at those stores, let me know. Um, it could be different in your area, so yeah. And that basically concludes my video. Thank you guys for watching. I just recently hit 100 subscribers, which is awesome for the time that I've been doing this. I'm having a blast still collecting and game hunting. I really appreciate all the comments that you guys are leaving. And so, yeah, that basically sums it up. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.